Okay, now the first step here is I want to pick up the piece of armor that I would like to trim. And I want to get some electrical tape. I like electrical tape because it can actually uh, bend on a curve. So that way you can actually fit to the whole side of the armor in one straight shot and then trim it down. Okay, so I want to pick, let's choose the top of the armor. And you can see that there's just a little bit of a lip. And we want to put it on top so only the lip is shown. Okay, now that that's all finished, just, just take the electrical tape and put it all along the front so that way it stays in place. And you know what's there. And just take a look and an eyeball and you can see how much is still going to be on there. fix this a little. It doesn't look quite right in the middle here. Okay, and that's looking a little better. I just want to flatten this down, remove any air bubbles, treat it like it's a decal or something, I'm sure. And then I'd trim off the edges. And there's your first edge with the electrical tape wrapped around it. Okay, now here's where I start to cut it. What I want to do is use this drum Dremel Moto tool so I can sand it right off. Just stick it in the Dremel here. And what I do is I use the uh, lowest speed, lowest speed for the trimming. Just turn it on and slowly follow. I take up quite a bit first, just ease in. Just get as close as you can, and just uh, don't go straight at it all at once. Take on the whole piece of plastic. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting pretty close in there to the actual plastic. There it is from the underside. But as you can see, it's looking a lot better.
That's, uh, you don't want to do that. As you can see, the electrical tape did a really good job at keeping it where you're supposed to trim it. So this way you won't get an uneven trim. And if you continue throughout the whole armor, it should look pretty nice. And after you do that, you would want to... I use, um, you want to you want to do some sanding on it. I use a rough 60 grit. So let me just cut off a piece of 60 grit sandpaper here. Just a little square is nice. And you want to just go along that edge. So this way you have a nice even trim. And if I peel back the electrical tape here, you can see how good of a job it really did. You can sand down the top just a little. But you can see how much and how much it had taken off. And this is about, I'd say, about an eighth of an inch. So if you were looking to reference that, this would be a good way to go about that. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for watching my video tutorial on how to trim Fet Pride version 3 ABS armor. This tutorial should work for any other ABS trimming you have, if it's Fet Pride version 2 or you have an AP Stormtrooper kit. This tutorial should work well on that too. First I'd like to thank Fet Pride for making such an amazing suit. I haven't seen any armor that was this accurate. I didn't I had never imagined that there would be such a curve to the Boba Fett armor. But he has a really good eye for accuracy. And Fet Pride makes some amazing stuff. And if you ever want to buy any material, make sure you get it on a Fet Pride run. I haven't seen his helmet yet, but I'm pretty excited to see it. I'd also like to thank the Dented Helmet for putting up with me for about two years now. And uh, I'd also like to thank you again for watching my video, and I hope there to be a couple more coming along the way. I'd also like to video a tutorial on how to do some painting and airbrushing. So until next time, this is GCN Gamer 128 from the Dented Helmet. Thank you. Bye.